some wheatgrass that we're going to um, juice today. Just very important when you get it, make sure you get it from a very reliable source, try and get it organic. And then when you cut it, you want to cut as close to the roots as you possibly can. So just little snippets like this. And you're going to need, this is, I have this much already, I'm probably going to get twice this amount, and that's going to be enough for about a one ounce juice. If you decide to commit to doing um, wheatgrass shots, um, I highly recommend it. I would also highly recommend that you invest in a really good juicer. If you use one of those hand crank ones, okay, you're probably moms, just like us, it's going to become a hassle. It's not going to be something you do every day. So um, this is the Miracle Wheatgrass Juicer. I bought it a few years ago. It was somewhere around $200, so it was an investment, but it's definitely been worth my time to make juicing wheatgrass really easy. Um, my husband thinks it tastes much better over ice, so you can try it with him with ice, but today I'm going to pour it over ice, and then um, I just pour one ounce glasses, new sweet tequila glasses, now they're wheat, glass, wheat grass glasses, and um, let's get started on this. It's just so easy, you just turn it on, and voila. When you're juicing, make sure that you put it in the uneven end first, not the cut end, Grinder on the inside just works better. And also, of course, I have a policy of waste not, want not, so I save all of this and I compost it for my garden. Hey, okay, bottoms up, ladies. <laughs> Delicious. If you want to learn more about us and our wheatgrass journey, check out our blog at www.6and6plus2.com.